Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there is something in particular that you guys want us to do drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our um our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we've got some amazing conversations which you guys can find on itunes spotify podbean this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and we've got a patreon you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing and everything that you guys are doing we're very very grateful so i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to what one of you suggested um how and when prophet muhammad died the last three days of prophet muhammad so without wasting time let's get into the video <laughs> فإن محمدا قد مات ومن كان يعبد الله فإن الله حي لا يموت أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وما محمد إلا رسول قد خلت من قبله الرسل أفإن مات أو قتلا قلبتم على أعقابكم ومن ينقلب على عقبيه فلن يضر الله شيئا وسيجزي الله الشاكرين Thursday comes. Thursday comes. Thursday began a very, very powerful and different transition also in the last moments of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And of course the Monday. Thursday and Monday. Nothing happens in his life with coincidence. And he, as you all know, used to fast every Thursday and every Monday. I, in the depth of my heart, know it was not coincidence. This, this must have some link with it. In addition to what he told us, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. On that Thursday, during his illness, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he continued in his most beautiful, spiritual, splendid bravery, continued to lead salah. Salah. The last salah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was on Thursday night the Maghrib Salah for the last surah he recited in the Quran in Salah the most beloved act to Allah and to his Rasul was Al-Mursalat Wal-Mursalat Urfa those that are sent the angels By the time of Isha, he could not move. And when he could not move, it is like 10 men together could not move. He could not move. And he lost consciousness. He woke up for a moment. And the first thing he said, 
أصلى الناس The first thing he said أصلى الناس Did people perform their salah? Haisha, our mother In whose presence he died She said لا يا رسول الله فإنهم في انتظارك No, Ya Rasulullah, they are still waiting for you. They have hope. Then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, bring me al makhzab this big vessel with water, cool, fresh water. He entered inside of it and he refreshed himself and bathed and got out to get some strength. And as he stood up to walk to inside of the masjid he fell and he lost consciousness he wakes up a while later the first thing he says asalla nas أصلى الناس أصلى الناس لا يا رسول الله هم في انتظارك He tries that again washes and tries to get up and he can't and he falls thrice أصلى الناس Finally, he appointed Abu Bakr in Allah Ta'ala to lead Salatul Isha. And Abu Bakr as Siddiq led Salatul Isha of Thursday night and the Fajr Salah of Monday and three days in between. The scholars say about 17 salawat were led by Abu Bakr in the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And that means a lot for those who think and reflect. A day later, of what is recorded of his noble sayings was this, he said, Ala la yamutu ahadun minkum illa wahwa yuhsinu vanna billah. Let none of you die when the time of his or her death comes, except that he or she should be in a state of high hopes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A day later, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam whatever was has remained in his frugal house he gave away he freed all those who served him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam he had six dinar left gave that all away none of that was remaining he gave everything he had left nothing much Aisha needed oil for the lamp radiallahu ta'ala anha that night and she didn't have oil for the lamp that night she went and borrowed some from some of the neighbors to light the lamp in the room of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. I know my mother, your heart was illuminated by the presence of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.
next day, the day before he passed away, he left again this wasi. Again, قَاتَلَ اللَّهُ يَهُودُ وَالنَّصَارَى اتَّخَذُوا قُبُورَ أَنْبِيَائِهِمْ مَسَاجِدٍ Again, he emphasized that his grave is not to be a place of worship. Al-Islam, Al-Islam. The purity of that deen is from there, it will remain there, it will be there, it is intended to be there. وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَا يَأْرُزُ إِلَى الْجَزِيرَةِ وفي رواية إلى المدينة وفي رواية إلى مكة والمدينة كما تأرز الحية إلى جحرها. The purity of the deen will always be there, ultimately. Very interesting video. Sorry, I have to cut it in two to accommodate people that don't like watching long things. Um, this is something that gives you something to think about. Um, some people actually know when it's their last days and they just want to have the best time of their lives. I guess maybe that's why he went to pray but ended up collapsing. It's just mind-blowing. Like, you know, this is coming but the people around you sometimes don't even see it as you see. You just see things from a way different perspective. It's really something to think about. We all we don't know when we're going to leave this earth and what's going to happen after but when that time comes you you, you yourself personally are going to feel it